Okay, welcome to another episode of N7RBP YouTube channel. I have recently acquired a Yesu FT101, make it an FTDX101 Delta, and it's a really cool radio. Um, and we've all seen, or many of you that are interested in this radio, have seen the typical videos of the 101 uh, demonstration of how it works and uh, what buttons are what and who pushes what buttons or how you push the buttons. This video is going to be a little different. I haven't seen anything on the, uh, on the net uh, so far about uh, what I'm about to cover. But uh, what I have done with this uh, Yesu uh, 101 Delta, uh, I've integrated some uh, uh, external receivers and uh, uh, made it a little more intuitive to operate, uh, more, a little more fun in my opinion. So we're all familiar with the... Uh, Let's see if I can get this up here a little ways. We're all familiar with the uh, the typical external monitor uh, that you can attach to a lot of the new rigs these days. The 101 included. Uh, and uh, that's all fine and dandy. And it, it's great. It looks good. It really gives the uh, the actual face of the radio uh, a big display and uh, like I say that's all fine and dandy and nice and uh, uh, I'm I'm all for it however uh, what I have done let me zoom back out here now a little bit bring this up just a hair what I have done now I have integrated an SDR play uh, as an external receiver for this radio, which gives me what I feel a little more hands-on control on the big screen. So what I've done, I've put an AB switch on the monitor that allows me to switch between the radio and my computer for the screen. So I'm gonna walk over here and I'm gonna hit the AB switch. So what we see now is H, uh, SDR Uno. No traffic, you're missing your partner there. W6BQ2, Marty. Yeah. Mute that out here for just a little bit. R, B, P, Charlie. Turn that down a little bit. So basically what I've got now is an SDR play plugged into the back of the FT-101 into the RX out port of the FOA. And I have downloaded a cat control program uh, called OmniRig and uh, OmniRig allows me to control the SDR Uno program uh, with the radio. So if you'll notice I'm on 3975 right now and all I have to do is turn, uh, turn to the FO and everything, uh, everything tracks nicely. Um, if I want to uh, go over to, this is a nice strong signal here, he just <laughs> stopped transmitting, but uh, here's, a, uh, here's a sample, we'll unmute it. So, so I just switched over here. So now we're sitting over here with the click of a mouse or the turn of a uh, the turn of a VFO, and it gives you lots of control. You can change bands. We're on the 80 meter band right now. You just click on 20, 
and you can instantly go to 20. I think my antenna, yeah, that's, that's okay. Not a whole lot going on on 20 right now, but uh, there's, uh, there's some CW there and some uh, uh, FT8, uh, some weaker signals there. But you can go all over. You've got uh, lots, of, uh, lots of controls here that you can uh, uh, mess with. You can change antennas right here. Um, um, you can, like I say, go to all the, all the bands. Here's another thing you can do over here. Uh, this is your, your band width. And a lot of times when you want to see uh, how wide a person's signal is, uh, you can uh, see it right there, and uh, you can increase the uh, increase the uh, view to see. Like this is a little over 4K wide now, uh, and uh, if you want to see how wide a person's signal is, you can do that. So let's just go over here, and this guy is on 50. You can increase the volume all by the software. A lot of white noise there. Here's another thing you can do on this program. That's a typical amount of white noise, and with SDR Uno, you can cut the signal down, or the white noise down, and uh, uh, still keep the signal, but I've lost the guy now, so let's go back to uh, 80 meters where there's a little more activity. It's uh, 7.30 in the evening, so 80 meters is kind of hopping right now. We'll go back here, and... Uh, We'll unmute it. You can drop that white noise down just by clicking the AGC, just like that. And uh, we'll click over here to this strong signal. We can knock that volume down a little bit. You can do all the controls. Well, not all the controls on the radio, uh, but for uh, your typical usage, you've got such a nice array of options to view here instead of just simply duplicating the screen. You've already got this screen here. Uh, and it's always there, and you'll always see it. And uh, in my opinion, if you can see this screen 100% of the time, why post it up here uh, just to make it bigger? Yeah, granted, it's nice when it's big, but uh, why not have something else to work with, like uh, the SDR, SDR Uno and the uh, SDR Play? So uh, just something that's a little different. Uh, let me stop this here or mute it. I'll mute it. So it's just a little something a little different on the uh, FTDX 101 uh, that makes it uh, uh, just a little bit more enjoyable. So uh, I kind of thought that would be an interesting thing for some of you to see. And uh, if, uh, if you want to incorporate that, uh, like I say, I've got a, a, an SDR play. Uh, plumbed into the RX out port on the back of the 101 and uh, the SDR play is uh, USB ported to my uh, to my computer and uh, the audio is coming out of the computer speakers and uh, of course you can always do the uh, do the audio also through the uh, the standard speakers on the radio
now they're not. Okay, that's a zero. All right, now let's see if uh, Paul wants to make a comment on there or have any, anything else to add, if he's close to the radio. Now, <laughs> you go back to uh, the computer speakers, and it's night and day. So let me get this straight. Lenny has a problem with women with big uh, uh, top ends. Well, there we go. So, there is a difference. The radio has a much better receiver, much, much better receiver than the SDR play receiver does. So, when signals are weaker and I really want to pull the signals out, I, uh, I don't use the SDR play receiver at all. I use the, ra the receiver in the radio. Much, 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 much better receiver. And uh, a number of the controls for weaker signals uh, are available on the radio through the uh, regular speaker uh, on the 101 that are not available uh, on the uh, SDR Uno here. For instance, the DNR, the digital noise reduction, uh, that and uh, a number of other uh, Options that you have available to you on this nice radio are uh, are not available here But for general listening and navigating and everything I find it really hard to uh, to beat using the SDR play and SDR uno And then if you really want to zero in on things then you uh, really get down to the uh, meat of the subject and uh, you can work uh, Signals that uh, you just can't hear on a regular uh, SDR receiver such as the uh, SDR play so there you go guys I don't want to make this video too long uh, just wanted to show you what I'm doing with this uh, with this newly acquired radio that I'm so enamored with I love it and uh, again got the AB switch just uh, push a button back here and it switches uh, from the computer to the radio and uh, then you've got your your typical big screen from the uh, of the radio I mean of the display the big screen of the display and uh, it's great to look at but uh, you're looking at exactly the same thing exactly the same thing here where again not only do you still have this 100 percent of the time you've also got all this that you can work with with the uh, SDR Play and the SDR Uno. So there you go, guys. Hope this would be interesting and maybe helpful to you. And uh, we'll see you next time on N7RBP uh, YouTube channel. 73s and uh, N7RBP out.